Hi, I'm Rita, and today on Fresh Table, we are going to make the trendy custard toast. It went viral on TikTok for a very good reason because this recipe is so delicious. I'm gonna show you four different sweet options, and then I'm gonna take it to another level and show you two savory as well. So let's get started. I'm gonna start by preheating our oven to 350 degrees. To make this custard, you only need a handful of ingredients. So we're gonna start with a half a cup of yogurt and my favorite brand to use is this grass-fed yogurt. I love using A2, A2 milk because it contains a protein that helps our body digest. Then we're gonna add one cracked egg. Next, we're gonna add a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now the sweet version is what went trendy on TikTok, but we're gonna take this up another level and make it savory as well, because why not? Then we're gonna add two tablespoons of maple syrup. And then honestly, Costco just has the best deal for maple syrup, so that's what I'm using here. So just mix all of the ingredients with a whisk, just like that. So let's talk about the bread we're gonna use. Today we're gonna use a sliced sourdough, and I personally love the flavor of sourdough. You could easily do a gluten-free toast as well. It's whatever you prefer and whatever you normally eat. Okay, so take a baking sheet and then line it with some parchment paper. Then place your six slices of toast right on top. And then we're just gonna spoon that sweet custard right on top of the bread slices. Before we place in the oven, for the sweet custard toast, you can use either fresh or frozen fruit. You may have seen this toast topped with frozen or fresh raspberries. I prefer to use frozen raspberries. They are easy to keep in the freezer for smoothies and for something like this, your own custard toast. Next is lemon blueberry. Just take a lemon and zest the rind. Add some fresh blueberries right on top. And what I love about using the fresh blueberries is when they heat up in the oven, they just burst in my mouth. Next is peaches and cream. Simply use frozen peaches that are already peeled and sliced, and then just place on top of the custard. The last sweet flavor option is chocolate and strawberries. Make the sweet custard and then add an additional tablespoon of maple syrup and one teaspoon of cocoa powder. Mix until all of the ingredients are combined. Spoon the chocolate mixture over the top of the bread slices. So these are gonna go in the oven for 10 to 15 minutes and I cannot wait to show you guys some toppings I'm gonna add as well. The raspberry and the blueberry toast are ready to be enjoyed. For the peaches, we're going to simply make a quick and easy cream by adding just a couple spoonfuls of the yogurt and then we're going to drizzle with some maple syrup to the desired sweetness. Mix that cream together and then you're just gonna spoon it right on top of the peaches and sprinkle with some sliced almonds. For the chocolate custard, we're going to thinly slice some strawberries and then top with some cocoa nibs. For the savory option, it's so simple. You're just going to mix a half a cup of yogurt and one egg together. Spoon that right over the toast. The first savory flavor is going to be my spin on a croque monsieur. Take some fresh thyme and sprinkle it right on top of the custard. Then we're just going to take a couple slices of ham, lay those right on top, sprinkled with your preferred cheese. I'm using a grass-fed cheddar cheese here. The second option is going to be a delicious creamy pesto with an egg on top. Just take a couple spoonfuls of pesto and you're just going to place it right on top of the custard. Then take your spoon and gently swirl in the pesto. Place the savory toast in the oven, again at 350 degrees, for 10 to 15 minutes until the custard has set. Once the savory custard toasts are done, top the croque monsieur with more fresh thyme. For the creamy pesto, layer a slice of tomato, then add a handful of arugula. Top with a fried egg and some red pepper flakes. These six different flavors of this simple custard toast is going to blow your mind, and if you're like me, you're going to be hooked. All right, I am going in for the bite. This is so good, and it's very easy to do, and it's like a little treat. It's just delicious. You guys have to try this. Sorry, I still have a mouthful, but Thank you guys so much for being here and watching this video. Do not forget to subscribe, hit the bell down below so you're notified every single time I upload a new video. And I will see you guys in the next one.